Aslanbek Makhmadov is a man on a mission and his air raid ringwalk signals the bombs are coming. He began turning heads in late 2018 with his first round destruction of the then undefeated Andrew Satterfield. The six foot five and a half Russian who has been fighting exclusively in Canada up the ante again just months later against tough journeyman Jason Bergman in January 2019. Bergman's definitely coming here with a lot of experience. Um, I mean, he's faced a lot of good opponents in his in his career. Uh, he's gone the distance with a, quite a few good boxers. So tonight's going to be a good test for him. I mean, he's fighting uh, a young fighter who has five wins by way of knockout uh, in all his professional big, uh, bouts, uh, and he's showing his punching power right here. So, I mean, Bergman is, they don't call him Iron Man for nothing. I mean, he's a very strong, big man. Oh, man, all right. But, uh, yeah. Those punches are heavy. Whoa. Half a round was all it took. No one had ever stopped Bergman that quickly or emphatically. Boxing fans were starting to take notice of the hard-hitting Makhmadov, who repeated the dose just two months later, becoming the first man to stop the durable Avery Gibson. After the Gibson win, it became apparent one of the challenges would be getting opponents who could go rounds with Makhmadov. So in steps American Johnny Rice, known for his movement, skill and right hand. Rice has a great chin here so far. Lead right hand. But you know what's surprising is the is Aslam is showing good hand speed because because Johnny Rice, like we said, he's moving his head very well. He moves very well. He's got real fast feet. But Aslam's able to catch him with those straight right hands. Some trash talking. He wants to pull him into a dog fight here. Yeah, well, some guy that comes from some weird ghetto in Russia, I would not pull him into anything <laughs> dog fightish. The Rice win was the first time Makhmadov went past the second round, getting the job done in seven, and in the process gained... To round out 2019, Makhmadov was matched with the former champion Samuel Peter. 
fait qu'il est très embêtant quand il lance des coups un peu conventionnels. Il lance des coups larges qui peuvent atteindre la cible, comme il l'a fait avec Klitschko et il vient à... Oh! Et la pireur se lance au tapis. Après ne plus les chances de part et d'autre. La droite de Max Bouda va sembler affecter le Nigérien. Il se relève tant bien que mal. Lui qui avait quand même réussi à assurer une certaine réplique. Exact, tout à fait. À Max Bouda. porte à l'attaque à nouveau. Oh, et là, Samuel Peter en a plein les bras. Oh. Aslan Beck Makhmadov's trainers are very pleased with how the unbeaten fighter has continued to develop in recent years and are excited about his future in the heavyweight that division. That co-promotional pact oh. between Eye of the Tiger Management and Golden Boy Promotions will see Makhmadov spread his wings and fight outside of Canada, with his next fight to take place in the United States. With Golden Boy having a small heavyweight roster, the up-and-coming Makhmadov can be the guy for them at heavyweight, and there is scope for in-house fights against James Wilson and Mihai Nistor. The latter, Makhmadov stopped in the World Series of Boxing in a fight he was losing, so a rematch in the pros would be a mouth-watering prospect. The exposure fighting in the US on the zone will quickly grow Makhmadov's profile, and there's one thing that you can guarantee about the Russian fighter. He would never be in a dull fight with his come-forward, all-action style. 